Morning everyone, welcome to another Mental Monday. So today we are going to be looking at another trick to get that chimp working for us. So our unconscious brain, we're going to do something that manipulates it a little bit to try and get the changes that we want to make in our lives. We're going to be looking at habits again. So the first week we looked at adding in habits, um, healthier ones before we did an unhealthy habit. Last week we looked at our identity, which makes up the motivation to change, the motivation to get these new habits into our lives. But today we're going to go back to habits, we're going to go back to doing something actionable every single day that's going to make a big difference to us. Um, firstly, we're going to have a little bit of a talk about habits uh, in slightly more detail just to see how they work and the cycle of how they work. So, like I said before, most of what we do um, is based on habit. If we can start to leverage these habits, we can make drastic and long-lasting changes to our lives. So really important to get a little bit of understanding and start to use them for our own good. We can think of habits um, and the process of habits as being a cycle. So you have a cue for a habit and this is a uh, happens throughout the day we're getting cues all the time they're pretty much unconscious most of the time as well and this is the trigger that gets us to do that action that habit uh, in the past we these cues would be used or in the past back in the day a long long time ago they were used for survival and they still are to some degree now but rather than basic survival now they're more used for lifestyle um, for our relationships things like that and just getting by in day-to-day -day life even something like switching on a light in a dark room, that dark room is a cue for that switch. After you've got the cue, you have a craving. So you will see something, you'll get some kind of stimuli that's going to make you crave uh, an action and a relief from that action. So these can be dramatic. These can be like, I see a chocolate cake and I'm now craving it and I want to eat all of it. Or like I said, it can be something as simple as you're getting in your car and you put your seatbelt on. So you want that feeling of what we associate with comfort and safety from the seatbelt. Again, a lot of these, most of these, most of the time are subconscious. So we've got the cue, we've got the craving. Next is the response, and that's the action that we take it, um, to satisfy that craving. After the response, then we get the reward. We get all the little brain chemicals lighting up, telling us, yay, that's what I wanted, thank you very much. Uh, and that's what the whole process is about, really, is seeking the reward. What The reason we call it a cycle is, although it seems to be fairly linear, actually these happen throughout the day, and a reward signal, or the action that we just took, can lead on to something else. So if you think about when you get up in the morning, you get out of bed, you then may get uh, a cue to, to, to think, I've made my bed. Once you've made your bed, that might be your cue to then go and brush your teeth. So we tend to automatically do something known as habit stacking, and that's adding on one habit on top of another. And that's what we're going to use to or look at leveraging today to add in the habits that we want. So what we can do, instead of our trying to make a brand new habit out of the blue, just shoving it in our day-to-day -day lives and saying, no, at 12 o'clock every day, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to email three people about my new book or whatever it is that you want to do. Instead of doing that, we are going to trick that chimp a little bit and we are just going to slip it into some other habits, just like if you've ever had dogs or cats and you're trying to get them to uh, eat a, a medicine, you, you stick it in their, in their ham or whatever. So we're going to look to trick our chimp a little bit and start doing our habit stacking. Um, so what we're going to do is we've got a behaviour that you do every day. I'm just looking here because I've got a few examples written down I'm trying to, uh, to remember. So for myself, um, a habit that I've got every day is making coffee in the morning. So I make coffee and then I go and sit down and do some work. 
If I want to keep my house a little bit tidier or make it easier to uh, manage the housework rather than spreading it throughout the day, what I've done is I've added in a habit. So my coffee is next to or near my dishwasher. So whilst I'm waiting, once I put my coffee on, I now empty my dishwasher and then I have my coffee and go to work. So uh, a really simple way of adding in a habit. And there are loads of ways that we can do that. So how this is going to work is you say, when I do X, then I will do Y. Um, after I make my bed, I will sit down and do my to-do list for the day. After I have done my exercise, I am going to do my mobility work, that kind of thing. So this needs to be added into your routine. Um, just trying to think of a couple more actually. Uh, one that might be useful for you parents out there, so just thinking again of how we can do this in our day to day. In the evening, when you prepare your food for your dinner, whilst the food is cooking, you can then get your children's or start to get your children's food prepared for the next day, that kind of thing. So, yeah, this all sounds like super organised wonder people. We're, not, we're only looking to add in maybe one thing a day. <coughs> Sorry about this. <clears throat> a couple more that you can do is um, when you make a phone call or when you're about to speak to someone, if you get nervous, taking a deep breath and smiling. When you buy something off the internet or in the shops, if you buy new clothes, you get old clothes um, to put away um, and give away or sell, so that kind of thing. So there's loads of ways that we can do this and loads of ways that we can add in a healthy habit that is going to change our lives into our day-to-day -day life. How are we going to do this? So what I want you to do this week is you are going to brainstorm all the habits or all the things that happen to you every day. So you're going to write down two lists, one list of things that you do every day without fail. I get out of bed, go to the toilet, I have a shower, um, I speak to my children, rah, 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 that kind of thing every day. Another list is going to probably be a lot smaller, will be a lot smaller, is things that happen to you every day. So the sun rises, the sun sets, uh, you get hungry, your, the song you're listening to finishes, um, you get a Facebook message, someone likes your post on Instagram. So those kind of things, so things that happen to you every day. And you're going to lay these out. Um, then you are going to look at the habit that you want to add in. So we've all had some time this lockdown, hopefully, not all of us, um, key workers, again, very much appreciated and probably uh, doing their very best to get by. Those of us that have had a little bit more time to think and maybe uh, reassess where we want to be, probably have some ideas of some goals or the kind of people we want to be. I want to be healthier, I want to be X, Y, and Z. So we're going to pick something small that we can do every day that we know is going to benefit us and know is doable. And all we're going to do then is add it into our daily routine. When I do X, then I will do Y. A uh, key to making this work is to make it um, specific and immediate. So instead of saying, like I did earlier, once I finish my exercise, I will do my mobility, what you're going to do is three minutes after I finish my wad, I will do two minutes mobility lower body or um, right side lower body, two minutes left side lower body, two minutes rah, 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 and I will do that exactly where I am when I work out. Or we can say, when I've made my bed, I will turn my computer on and sit at my computer for five minutes writing my to-do list for the day. So making it specific, making it immediate is going to make it a lot easier to follow. That's all I have for today guys. So we're going to look at lists of our day-to-day -day routine. We're going to look at habits that we want to add into our lives and remember what we said before, we want these to be doable we are going to add these habits in some way into our routine. When I do X, then I will do Y. And we are going to do those. A couple more examples. When I serve my dinner at night, I'm going to put vegetables on my plate first. Any journey that requires me to go less than a mile, I will walk, that kind of thing. So there's uh, loads of things that we can do. You need to be imaginative, you need to be creative. 
One more thing that I want you to do, once you have succeeded in your habit, I want you to give yourself a pat on the back, okay? So no matter how small it is or whether it's actually not so different you do day to day, I want you to positively reinforce what you have done. All right, guys. A little bit waffly again today, apologies for that, but hopefully you will get something good. And please, I'd love to hear what habits you're going to be stacking this week. I'll put this on the Facebook group as well. And yeah, let me know what you're going to do. Take care and speak to you soon. Bye.